Welcome back to Guernsey. Today is a scorching 20 degrees and we have the Kia Stinger GTS on test on this beautiful island. Let's start with a couple of the aesthetics of the car. Uh, the first one that I saw uh, when I first saw the car uh, a couple of weeks back was the headlights. And they are purely reminiscent of the Aston Martin Vulcan. Check out the indicators. They look absolutely fantastic on this car uh, against the, uh, the Monaro type grey of the uh, bodywork. Next we have the five spoke uh, wheel. Again, this looks absolutely fantastic with the contrast of the uh, gray gloss and also the chrome. And underneath that as well, you'll see that we've got a bright red canopy, which again is from our favorite brand, Brembo. On the side of the car, we also have black chrome wing mirror covers. These look absolutely fantastic on the side of the car and certainly a must have. Now, this particular part of the car is not my favorite, I will admit. I'm not 100% sure what Kia were thinking. However, for some reason they decided to add the reflector to the side of two panels. So we've got the rear bumper panel here, and then we've got the side panel here, and then we have a massive reflector that runs through both of them. Absolutely no idea why they did that. Personally, I think if they removed it, it would give it a bit more symmetry. However, it's on there, and it's not the best part of the car. To the back of the car, we have a fantastic look. Uh, it's certainly a um, sort of fastback-esque look, but the best part of this car is the fact that it's a combination of the saloon and a hatchback. As you can see, if I open the boot, the entire boot opens up, unlike, say, my uh, Julia, where you've only got a small tail opening. The boot itself is also absolutely massive. As you can see, I sit in here quite comfortably. Can't guarantee it would actually close with a human being in the back. However, you can certainly fit as much as you want in the back of this car. In the back of the car as well, you've got plenty of space. You've got a few luxuries as well. So the back seat passengers will have access to aircon, which is dual climate. Again, you can control who has what heat. You've also got a 12 volt charging socket. You've got a USB socket there as well, as well as plenty of leg room. I'm five foot 10 and I've got plenty of height on the roof here. So if you're say maybe 5'11", 5'12", even six foot, you've still got plenty of room in the back to sit down comfortably. In the front of the car, uh, you can see that you've got plenty of aluminium all over the place. Again, you've got some lovely plastic that's loose, used on the front here. It's not cheap plastic. Leather bound steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats, air conditioning, full 360 degree cameras. This car has absolutely everything you could ever want. Now we've had a quick look around the car. Let's do the most important thing. Let's take it for a spin and see what we think. I'll be wearing my brown pants. <laughs> this one is nice and straight. I'm just going to prove to JP how fast this car is. Oh my god! <laughs> see what I mean? Like, my, if I was in my Alpha right now, I'd be like, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Curbs, wing mirrors. <laughs> but no, it's absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. And it's for some reason, although this is probably longer than the it feels smaller. I don't know what how, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really nice. 
So Kia does have a selection of premium colors. This particular color on this car is called Ceramic Gray. You also have available to you Midnight Black High Chroma. Uh, there's also some yellows and some reds as well uh, available. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's the great thing about the V6, it's got that really deep roar. Whenever you put your foot down or feed the power in slowly, it just slowly builds up to roar. The JP and I are just driving down uh, towards the halfway in Guernsey at the moment, onto possibly the worst road in Guernsey at this point in time. Whoever I retarmat this road do an absolutely crap job of it. So, good opportunity to test suspension in the car, which, compared to mine anyway, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. Quite smooth. Oh, that is addictive. Seriously, you get an opportunity to test drive this car and just feed the power in because it's just constant all the way through. Absolutely fantastic. This is, uh... It's interesting how Kia have developed this car. So as I said, in, in one mode, if you go back down to comfort, it's sedate, and as I said, refined, luxurious, but effortlessly, uh, sorry, effortlessly, you can transfer up to sport and then immediately that's 365 brake horsepower from a twin turbocharged V6 is unleashed. And like I said, past that initial bit of lag at the beginning, that's it, you're gone, absolutely gone. This is also the first car that I've used that has cooled seats and uh, the cooled seats in this car are lovely. Especially on today, it's 20 degrees outside, typical Guernsey uh, spring summer weather where it's just hot, there's not really much of a breeze. Get in this car, turn the air conditioning on, cool seats. Perfect. Let's run through a couple of things that I absolutely love about this car. One, the looks. The looks on this car are absolutely fantastic. The fact that it's a hybrid between a saloon and a hatchback uh, just gives it that like fastback look, which I think is uh, absolutely brilliant. Certainly compared to the modern day saloons, which have got that basic cut off the back um, and that sort of half boot thing. This, the fact that it just slopes downwards towards the end looks absolutely fantastic. Number two, the power. The power is absolutely intoxicating. Like I said, when you put your foot down, you get that initial delay, but once it takes over and the turbos kick in, you are just absolutely catapulted um, up to you know, a horrendous speed. Definitely fantastic experience. Number three, the space and the equipment on this car are absolutely amazing. This is the GCS model, but it's not much different from the GT model or the models underneath that. This is packed with absolutely everything you could ever want. You've got your cameras, you've got your heated seats, you've got your cool seats, uh, you've got the heads-up display, you've got Harman Kardon sound systems. It's just absolutely fantastic. For £35,000, you are getting an absolute monster of a car and certainly getting value for money. Thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell to be reminded of our next video upload i also wanted to give a huge shout out to rob and dale at forest road garage they've been great in hooking us up with the stinger uh, for this video thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one